Okay, let's look at question 1.2 of the prelim. It says the nth term of a geometric sequence is given by Tn, and they give you the general term where n is a natural number. Okay, they ask us for the constant ratio of the sequence in terms of x. So let's write down what they gave us. First of all, they said Tn is x multiplied by x plus 1, n minus 1, where n is an integer. They ask us for the constant ratio, so we have to find two consecutive terms. Remember, they told us it's a geometric sequence. So term 2 will be x multiplied by x plus 1 to the power of 2 minus 1, which is 1. We're going to divide it by term 1, so we can work out our constant ratio. So that will happen where x, where n rather is 1. So x times x plus 1 to the power 1 minus 1, and that's a power of 0. Okay, now folks, be careful here. We're dividing by x and by x plus 1. None, none of these can be naught. So just remind ourselves, x is not allowed to be naught. And you can think of it. If x is naught, then you're going to have a constant sequence. Okay, so we got to exclude x as naught, and also x plus 1 cannot be 0. So whatever we get, x cannot be minus 1 as well. Okay, if we do our division, the x divides the x. This is 1, so I'm left with x plus 1. So my constant ratio is x plus 1. Okay, that was for a beautiful three marks. Then they ask us, for which values of x will this series converge? Okay, it's a geometric sequence. So to converge, remember your condition. Whatever the constant ratio is, it must be smaller than 1. Okay, that's how you'll talk about it when you do AP maths. You guys that don't do AP will just say, it's between, it's not equal to, sorry, it's strictly smaller than. So it's smaller than 1 and bigger than minus 1. Just think about it for a second. If r is equal to 1, again, you have a constant sequence because the ratio is 1. Okay, so to converge, this is our condition. So x plus 1 lies between 1 and minus 1. Therefore, to get rid of the, minor, the plus 1, I subtract 1 throughout and I get x is smaller than 1 minus 1, which is naught, but at the same time, it's bigger than minus 2. And remember, x cannot be naught, it's already excluded, but the negative 1 lies slap dash in the middle of that interval. And it cannot be minus 1, else it's going to make denominators naught. Okay, that's for a further three marks. The next question asks us to find the sum to infinity. Now remember, for your sum to infinity to exist, the sequence have to converge. Okay, so the sum to infinity formula, a over 1 minus r. Now we need the first term. And we found the first term over here. This bracket reduced to x to the naught, which is 1, and we were left with an x. So term 1 is x, and our constant ratio we found to be x plus 1. So it's 1 minus x plus 1. Now just clean it up nicely to, and distribute that negative correctly. Then you have x over 1 minus x minus another one. The 1 minus 1 is naught, leaves you with x over minus x, and that is minus 1. So your sum to infinity indeed here is negative 1. Now they say... Given that x is equal to positive 1, calculate the sum of the first 10 terms for 4 marks. Okay, let's see. x is equal to 1 was given. Now that would mean that term 1 is 1 and 1 plus 1 to the power of naught because n is 1 and 1 minus 1 is naught. So your first term is indeed 1 if x is 1. Your constant ratio we already have is then 1 plus 1, which is 2. Okay, you've got enough information. The sum to 10 terms, it's now a geometric sequence, and notice that your ratio is bigger than 1. So to find the sum to 10 terms, 
The sum to 10 terms will be the first term, r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1. The first term we found, the first term was 1. Okay, and then our constant ratio is 2. I want the 10 terms to be added, so my power is 10 minus 1 over 2 minus 1, and that leaves us with 1. So we've got 2 to the power 10, and that is 1024, minus 1, and that gives me 1023 as my sum to 10 terms. So you saw that you have to know your formulas, you have to know the conditions under which things happen in a sequence or a series, and then be careful for the restrictions that you have.